Hello children. In this video, we are going to learn what is a cube root of a number. Before that, let's learn or let's revise what is a cube of a number. So when do we use a cube of a number? Let's say we are given a three dimensional shape, a cube with side as four centimeter. That is length, breadth and height. Each is four centimeter and we need to find the volume. How do we do it? We know from geometry volume of a cube is side into side into side which is in this case side is 4 centimeters so 4 into 4 into 4 that is 4 cube is equal to 64 centimeter cube. So we use cube when sides are given and we need to find volume. So side cube is equal to volume and we use cube root when the reverse is given. Say we are given volume of a cube and we need to find its side. So volume is given as 64 centimeter cube and we need to find the side of the cube. What is the length of each side? The length, the breadth and the height. So in this case we use cube root. So volume is equal to side cube in the same way side is equal to cube root of volume and we represent cube root as 3 written small way on the left and this symbol very similar to square root but we write 3 also additionally because it's a cube root so 3 small line here slanting line and a horizontal line so this is the cube root signal this symbol so cube root of volume is side or volume is cube of side. So cube root is inverse operation of cube operation. So side cube is volume and volume's cube root is side. So in this particular example given volume of 64 centimeter cube to find its side we do cube root of 64 which is 4. That is 4 cube is 64 or cube root of 64 is 4. So the side is 4 centimeter each. So let's see some of the common cube roots. So if the volume is given 1 centimeter cube, its side would be cube root of 1 which is 1 centimeter. If volume is 8 centimeter cube, the side would be cube root of 8 which is 2 centimeter and so on. So cube root of 125 is 5 centimeter. So if there is a cube of volume 125 centimeter cube, its side would be cube root of 125, that is cube root of volume, which is going to be 5 centimeter. In a generic way, we can say if a volume of a cube is n centimeter cube, sides would be cube root of n. So now let's take some examples. 4 cube is nothing but 4 into 4 into 4, that is 4 multiplied by itself three times which is equal to 64 so cube root of 64 is going to be what we know cube root is inverse of cube so cube root of 64 would be nothing but cube root of 4 cube because 64 can be represented as 4 cube and we can cancel the cube and the cube root so we are left with 4 so cube root of 64 is 4 or cube of 4 is 64. So cube root and cube are inverse operation. Let's take another example. Cube root of 125 is what? We know 125 can be represented as 5 into 5 into 5. That is 5 cube. So we can cancel these two things. The cube and the, this cube root. So we are left with 5. So cube root of 125 is 5 or 5 cube is 125. Here I have kept certain numbers and its cube roots. So cube root of 1 is 1, cube root of 8 is 2, cube root of 27 is 3 and so on. Cube root of 729 is 9 and cube root of 1000 is 10. So that's all in this video children. Bye bye.